Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of volume, specifically how we can solve problems using volume, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have just a basic rectangular prism here, and sometimes, rather than giving us the dimensions, we might see something like this. We might be given the volume, and so let's just pick something... Let's just make it nice and even, 100 cubic centimeters. That three exponent, that's what stands for cubic. That means that we could stack 100 cubes, that each one centimeter uh, in volume, one cubic centimeter, we could stack 100 of them inside this rectangular prism. That's what that means, because we're measuring the amount of space inside this object. What could the dimensions be? There's two different ways, remember, we can think about volume. So volume can be length times width times height, right? So if we want to label those here, we can say that's the height, that's the length, and this is the width. So we could just find those three things. But remember another way, and this is probably what you're going to start seeing a little bit more as you get into middle school is volume is base times height. Right now, typically it's a lowercase h, but this height is the same as this height. The base, remember, is the area of the base. And this is useful because we could find volume of other shapes other than rectangular prism, and it also uses the same area. So when we're talking about area, we're talking about right how many square tiles we can fit on the bottom here. So that's two ways to think about this. So what could the dimensions be? Well, if I wanted to use this first one, right, think of how can we make 100, almost as if we were going to do prime factorization, right? Well, how could I break up 100? I could do 10 times 10, right? Uh, I could do 5 and 20, I mean, I could do 4 and 25, right? So those are just a few to think about. And then so if we are wanting to think of the base times the height, well, that's easy. It would just be any of these two numbers, right? We could say uh, the base is 10 and the height is 10. Or we can say the base is 20 and the height is 5. We could say the base is 25. Typically, those are going to be bigger. The height is four. So those could be the dimensions. If I wanted to do the length times the width times the height, I would probably need to break down another one of these numbers into two other factors. So let's break down this 10 into a two and a five. So I can say length times width times height. It could work, and I'll just kind of list it like this. If, let's see, my uh, length was 10, my width was 5, and my height was 2. That would multiply out to be 100. Or I could do this, right? Uh, this could be a 10 and a 2. And look at that. It ends up being the same because that's how prime factorization works. So this one's going to be a little bit different. We could do 5 and 5. Right? We could say length of 4, height of 5, width of 5. So those are some different ways to think about how we can solve for volume by get being given the volume and then thinking of what are some different dimensions that would match that volume. Sometimes we're just given a basic word problem without any visual. So I always suggest drawing a visual here. So let's draw our rectangular prism. All right, we're going to start with a rectangle, draw some parallel diagonal lines off to the side. Let's extend this out a little bit. Connect them. And we have, you know, the beginnings of our box. We could do some dotted lines if we want to, to connect to make it look 3D. But let's get a visual here. A box has a height, so we can label that right here, 5 centimeters. And a base, right, so they're going to give us the base. we got to remember the base is going to be the area of the bottom. That's 37 square centimeters. I'll use the little 2 right there. So what is the volume? Well, remember, one of the two different formulas we use is volume equals base times height. So we're literally just going to multiply 37 times 5. And so 37 times 5, it's going to be 35, 15, 185. Let's make sure we put the correct unit, cubic centimeters.